guys. Cool. Okay, we're live. So, oh, let's make sure it's not broadcasting on both. Okay. So, tonight I am really excited to share with you some essential oils for back to school. It's this is my second back to school season not being with the kids. Oh my gosh, I was a teacher for a really long time. I was working in schools for a really long time and then I had my own babies and and I started sharing doTERRA and now I don't work in the schools anymore. Um, so I'm really grateful that I get to be home, but I do kind of miss that back to school spirit um, that, that you get to have with the kids and seeing all those faces and how much they grow over the summer. Oh my gosh, they grow so much over the summer. So I am going to be sharing with you some of the top oils that every family should have to prepare for back to school. So we're gonna focus on different areas and all the different ways that you want to support your kids going back to school and, and the different oils how you, that you can use during that. So technology is always crazy. So let's stop all these pop-ups. There we go, right? See, it's so loud. So let's turn that off. How do I mute myself? There we go. No sound, please. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's get started right away. So first of all, if this is your very first class, I'm going to do a really quick intro. What are essential oils? Essential oils are volatile aromatic compounds that diffuse very easily into the air. So when you hear the word oil, a lot of time you think olive oil, um, avocado oil, something thick like that. Aromatic compounds go into the air very easily. They diffuse out into the air. So this is not a thick oil. The, an essential oil um, doesn't actually moisturize my skin at all. It just has all the healing properties of plants. So it takes a huge amount of plant material to make these little bottles. So for lavender, for example, it takes five pounds of lavender plant to make this one bottle of lavender essential oil. This is one that we're gonna talk about a lot. So it takes a huge amount of plants, uh, 77 lemon rinds to make one bottle of lemon. So these are so powerful, 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So if you're already on that natural healing journey and you're already using more natural things, this is what I found to be the fastest, most effective way to get the results I want. Now, when we're talking about effective results and powerful healing, quality is number one. Quality is so important. So all of these essential oils have CPTG on them. Probably can't see that little label, but CPTG stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And that is doTERRA's standard of safety and excellence. So that means that these are completely pure they are tested over and over again within doTERRA and third party. So these have a really cool feature on them. If you ever want to know about the purity of your oils, um, basically doTERRA got tired of arguing the facts. So they're really transparent with the reports. Go to source2.com. There's a lot number on the bottom of each of the bottles and plug that in and it will pull up the test report for this bottle from Essential Oil University. So the third party testing this bottle to make sure it's pure. That is really, really, really important when you're using essential oils for your kids. I did not start with doTERRA. I started at Whole Foods and Sprouts and I just got essential oils there because they all say 100% pure on them. So honestly, I thought that people were ridiculous for buying doTERRA when they were so expensive and I could get something for a third of the price at Sprouts. And then I started learning that I was actually putting synthetics and fillers onto my kids. And that was completely against what I was trying to do. I was trying to remove chemicals from the home. So always make sure that you're doing a really high quality um, essential oil. And if you're looking for something that is available widely, this is it. So that's why the only oils that I recommend are doTERRA because they're tested and they have a great company behind them. So if anything goes wrong, call them, they'll fix it. I love doTERRA essential oils. Um, even though I didn't start with them, our life has changed dramatically since we started using them. So you can apply essential oils in three different ways. And we're going to talk about that uh, throughout. So I'm going to just mention it. It's aromatically. So breathing it in, 
topically, which is rubbing them onto the skin and, um, and then internally. So with kids, we don't do them internally as often, but I'm gonna give you some options on how to do that safely and effectively with your kids. So let's start with our first category for supporting our kids' immune systems. Let me just make sure there's nothing going on in the chat here. A little bit. Okay. Hi. All right, cool. So um, the first thing that you need, every parent needs this for the new school year, is On Guard. On Guard is the protective blend. On Guard has a mixture of clove, cinnamon, wild orange, um, I want to say eucalyptus, I always forget, eucalyptus and rosemary. This essential oil, let's see, on guard, it boosts, it boosts your immune system. So it totally supports the immune system. So some, we see a lot of hand sanitizer happening at the beginning of the year, a lot of Clorox wipes and things like that to kill germs. On guard will kill germs and support the system, the, the immune system. So it's really going both ways. We can't just kill germs because germs are inevitable. They will happen. Um, you need to support the immune system so that when your child comes into contact, they are, they're going to be fine. They're going to be healthy. So on guard essential oil, you can put this into a roller. Um, I'll show you some, let's see, like this is a roller of oregano. This is also really good for your immune system. Um, this rolls on. Oh, let me find a new one. This is one of the old rollers. It's plastic. Um, new roller. Aha. This is a very nice roller ball. So the rollers from doTERRA now come. They are leak proof. They roll on super easily and they have a steel roller. So we love these things. So you can get, if you get the touch blends, any of the touch blends from doTERRA, then those are going to come in a roller and they're all going to already going to be diluted. So when we talk about diluting essential oils like on guard for your kids, honestly, I put on guard straight on my kids. We've never had a problem, but for sensitive skin or just for uh, to get more out of your oils, really, I would recommend diluting them. Diluting is when you take a carrier oil. So this is fractionated coconut oil. It, you can use all kinds of different things. So any kind of vegetable or nut based oil is going to be a great carrier oil. This is fractionated coconut oil. And I like to use this in all of my rollers that I make because it stays liquid at all temperatures. It won't clog your pores. It won't stain your clothes and it doesn't smell like coconut. So it's really gonna use, it's gonna really utilize that essential oil um, aroma a lot. And you're gonna get that in your roller. So I like this for all my roller balls, but if I'm just putting it on my kids or if I'm putting it on a large area, just use regular coconut oil. We have the big tub from Costco. That is fine. Totally just use that. So on guard can be put in a roller. And I like to use that. Um, my husband has them now because he's putting the kids to bed. But we have a big roller ball of on guard. And we rub that on the kids all the time. That's like their hand sanitizer. Because we know we're killing the germs and we're boosting their immune system at the same time. So have a roller of on guard. You can also diffuse on guard in the air. Diffusing this, that's aromatic usage is so good because you sanitize all the air and you boost everyone's immune system. So, oh, you know what? Let me find a diffuser because I did want to say, um, here's a diffuser here. This is the pedal diffuser. This is one of the most common um, diffusers that we have. It runs for four hours. This is what your teachers want. If you want to get your teacher a very nice back to school gift, she wants this in her classroom guaranteed. I used to love having a diffuser um, to help calm the kids down, to help keep the kids healthy, to help give them more focus, whatever. Um, this is so great to really set a really healthy classroom environment. So on guard can be diffused in the diffuser. This would be, oh, this would be a really, really, really nice gift for your teacher. If you got her a diffuser and on guard, she will love you all year. Um, so you can diffuse on guard, you can put it in a roller. And then I did want to mention the beadlets. Oh, where did these go? I have a bunch of goodies here. Oh, I put them right in front. On guard beadlets are these teeny tiny things. So I would start giving these to your kids now before the school year starts 
to boost their immune system. So it's that teeny tiny little ball. That is a beadlet of On Guard. That's a quarter of a drop of essential oil. I give this to my kids and they're not even school age yet. So just put it in your mouth. I pop it to get the flavor out. For my sons, it's too spicy for them. It has that clove and cinnamon in it. It's too spicy. They just swallow it. And this is going to boost their immune system on the inside. Um, so, you know, I still have little babies that are like licking things, but honestly, I worked mostly with K through five students and they lick disgusting things too. So on guard is a great thing for them to be taking internally. You can rub it on them as soon as you see them, make them a little roller to put in their backpack that they can use. Um, let me tell you, kids are so intuitive with the essential oils. So intuitive. They love using them. They know what they need and they are more willing to do that, to use the essential oils than, um, than some of the other things that we tell them to do, like take three deep breaths or, um, or just smile or something like that. Some of the emotional things we'll talk about later. So the kids love using the essential oils. I love seeing all my, I was, I had a lot of girls that had the little, um, travel packs and they would, they'd all be doing their little essential oils. They'd have mini rollers or like mini sample bottles and be using their oils at school. Loved it. So on guard is definitely one that you want to be using every day right now. And then every day of the school year on guard keeps your immune system healthy and strong all the time. Let me pop over here. Oh, hi, eternity. Yes. On guard is first thing. I love that. Eternity puts it on her girl's feet first thing in the morning. Totally. Because she's got a whole day of exposure happening, right? Um, love that. Okay. So the next one I want to talk about for immune support is lemon. So lemon, you can also be diffusing this in your diffuser. Um, this is great in the mornings, right? It, all the citruses help lift everyone up, boost their mood, boost their focus. So lemon is great to um, get them started, but it also boosts their immune system. So like I drink it in my water bottle. You can totally do this for your kids. You can put a drop of lemon into their water bottle and it's going to help them detox, boost their immune system, um, and just stay really healthy all the time. So I recommend getting them a steel one. Glass, is, glass also works, but honestly, for kids at school, get them a steel water bottle that can just bang around. They don't have to worry about. Avoid plastic with the lemon because it will take, it will start breaking down that plastic since it's a petrochemical. Lemon breaks it down and it's going to leach into that liquid. And then your kid is going to be drinking all of those plastic chemicals that they don't need in their system. Or that plastic bottle will break. I have, before I believe that fact, I broke two now jeans because I was putting citrus oils in them. So this is also a great option that your kid can just be drinking um, a little bit of lemon throughout the day. And then the last one that I want to talk about for really boosting the immune system, honestly, there's a lot. There's a lot of them, but we're just going to try and keep it simple, is breathe. Breathe is the respiratory blend. Breathe is essential, right? Breathing is essential. But it also has eucalyptus in it and melaleuca, which not only um, does eucalyptus help open everything up, but, but it also is antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial. So th this is something that's going to be keeping your kid really safe and healthy. Ooh, I love breathe. Oh my gosh, I love breathe. So your child can, you can, you can have them do that. They can put a drop right in their hands and take Take a deep breath like that. It might also help if your child is at all nervous before walking into the classroom that first day, before they get out of the car and walk up to school, put a drop of breathe in their hand. Maybe they're too excited, right? But if you have a child who's a little bit nervous, give them some breathe and remind them to take three deep breaths. It's okay. It has a really calming effect to it. Breathe is amazing. It's also, it's also going to support all the respiratory system. They're getting that immune support. And if your child has any kind of breathing issues, if they get constricted in their lungs, maybe they get excited, they can't run right. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, those kids who inhale things, you can do that with your breathe. So that little bit of breathe that you put in your hand or in their hand, have them make a cone like this with their other hand, put it here and inhale. 
and hold it. Just as you would another kind of inhaler, you hold that and it's going to help increase the whole lung capacity and then exhale. So this is a really great option um, to help your kids stay calm, to help them stay healthy and help them breathe easily um, through stress and then through physical activity, any of that. So there is, oh man, thing. I, you know what? I know where it is. I'm going to disappear for just a second but I'm coming right back. I think I have it in here. Darn, I don't. Okay, there is these really cool little inhalers that you can actually get. And it's basically a cotton wick and you just put, now I'm bugged, where is it? You just put that breathe essential oil onto the cotton wick and then your child can, it has a screw on cap and it can stay closed. And then when your child needs it, they just take off the cap and inhale it and you get that same effect so they don't have to cup their hand it's so nice to have that convenience and for your child to be able to have that they can't overdose on anything they can't hurt themselves with anything so by having rollers and the little essential oil inhalers in your kid's bag you're giving them tools to help themselves and you are empowering them to listen to their bodies which is so important for that's a great life skill listening to their bodies, listening to their mind and figuring out what they need and addressing that need. Um, that's a huge life skill for kids to be learning and doing. So essential oils are really going to help them with that. Okay. So, oh, and then the breathe, sorry. Also just want to mention breathe does come in a roller. So, so does on guard, all the main ones that we're talking about, they come in touch blends. See, this is just ready to go. It's already diluted. It also has a breathe stick. So this is a really handy one, especially if your child um, is on sports teams or whatever, just put this in the after school bag, put this in the sports bag. It glides right on. It's a vapor stick. It's already diluted. And then you just rub that on and they get all that breathe going in there. Lots of options, lots of options to work for you. Okay. The second thing that we're going to talk about is sleep. Kids have to get enough sleep. It is really, really, really important for kids to get enough sleep. And I think, oh man, I think the stat is like 65% of kids don't get the sleep that they need. Um, I, it, that sounds low. It might be higher than that. But kids need that sleep to regenerate their body, to process and absorb everything that they've really learned that day and to grow. They're growing, right? So they need good sleep. So what do we have? Lavender, of course, right? Lavender is so gentle for your kids. So give them a nice rub down at the end of the night and talk to them. How was your day? Tell me about your greatness today, right? If we have any nurtured heart parents, tell me what was great about today. Tell me what was challenging. Tell me what you learned, right? Listening to your kids is so important. And if you are able to use an essential oil in that moment, it's going to strengthen that moment. So talking to your kids, rubbing your kids, spending time with them is all beneficial. If you add an essential oil to that, then you are connect, you're making that brain connection with them. It goes all through the olfactory system and it really solidifies that feeling of peace. That feeling of being connected with their parent is solidified and strengthened when you use essential oils because you're connecting a scent with that moment. So lavender is great for getting more sleep. This can go in the diffuser, totally diffuse this in the diffu diffuse that lavender, rub it on their body. It's also really soothing for the skin. Um, we live in New Mexico and there is a lot of dry, dry kit, dry skin, right? The kids, my poor kids um, would always, their hands would be cracking, right? Because they just, they're washing their hands and they're playing in the sand and they're running in the wind and their poor little hands would just be cracking their little cheeks, getting really chapped out in the, especially once it's fall and winter, these kids just run and play. They don't care, right? They're getting all chapped everywhere. If they have a runny nose, it's getting chapped here. Put lavender on that with a little bit of carrier oil, or you can use a lavender roller because this is already diluted. See, mine's all worn out. Um, this is going to soothe all of your kids' skin. So not only is it great for them getting a good night's sleep, but it's also gonna soothe their skin and repair their skin. Um, this is so useful. We're gonna talk about it for other things too. But for sleep, another one would be serenity. So if you if your child um, 
needs deeper sleep. So for some kids, lavender is plenty. Lavender is just enough. If you have a child like mine or lots of the other children I know who have a, have trouble really going to sleep and relaxing, Serenity is going to be the best for them. Serenity is the restful blend. So I definitely recommend diffusing this in their diffuser and you can rub this on them. So Serenity has lavender in it. It also has Roman chamomile, vetiver, which is very grounding. So you can have them or you can put this on their body or they can do it. You can make a roller of this and have it diffusing and that's going to help them get a great night's sleep. Peace is another one um, that you can also use. So Peace is another, I recommend the roller. It does come in a little bottle. I, this is one of the emotions blends and I love the rollers of the emotions blend. So the Peace blend has vetiver in it. It also has lavender. It has a little bit of patchouli. It has ylang ylang, clary sage, frankincense, marjoram. So this is really soothing. Um, if they're growing, this is great for their growing pains too. So you can rub this all over their bodies. And this directly behind the, the ears is a great place to just shut down their brain for the night. So we mentioned right now for sleep, lavender, serenity, and peace. But I know that there's a lot of kids who are under a lot of stress. Um, it's happening younger and younger and younger, right? Like I used to have years ago, I would see like the girls start to have meltdowns, like real emotional meltdowns um, in fourth grade, third, fourth grade. And my last year teaching was definitely kindergarten and first grade. It's happening younger and younger. The kids are just getting overwhelmed and stressed out. So these essential oils can help them feel peaceful and not as anxious. So lavender or serenity or peace can not only be used for sleep, but for soothing them and helping them feel relaxed and not anxious and, you know, peaceful, serene, right? These are really great tools to have. All the essential oils have so many different uses. So if you're like, oh, my kid doesn't have sleep issues, I don't need serenity. You need serenity for other things. They have so many different uses. I'm just touching on just the topic ones. Um, let me check back over here. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Ooh, are you showing like where to get bottles and stuff? Oh, the inhalers. Yes. Thank you, Shelly Yon. Um, the inhalers are so handy. You can get those on Amazon. Um, Shelly just coined my oil gear. Those are really, really good. Um, also like rollers and things like that. If you want to make your own roller blends, I highly recommend going on Amazon and getting a six pack. So if you go down to Sprouts, I've made this mistake. It's $5 for an empty roller ball container. One of these it's empty is $5 at Sprouts. Online, you shouldn't pay more than 50 cents or a dollar for each of them, a dollar 50 for like the fancy crystal ones, right? But get a six pack or a 12 pack of them because so that you can make different things and you can have different blends for your purse, for the backpack, for the house, for the car, whatever. Okay, so that is sleep. And then I mentioned a little bit of anxiety stuff. Nutrition, right? Keeping our kids healthy is also about what they put into their bodies, the nutrition they, they eat. So definitely a healthy diet, lots of fruits and vegetables in there, lots of good grains for them. Um, and then their supplements, because it's really hard to have a completely balanced diet coming just from your food. Um, unless you're like a nutritionist and your, your child is on this awesome plan, the rest of us need some help. So this is the A to Z chewable vitamins. My son loves them. They're these cute little happy faces. You probably can't see that, but it's a cute little happy face. They're watermelon flavored. And these are great multivitamins. So remember that kids, kids need different nutrients than we do. They're growing and they're not just little humans. They need their own kind of nutrition. So the A to Z chewables provides that kind of supplemental nutrition. And they have, um, this is vitamin D3 in it, lots of vitamin C in it, magnesium, vitamin K, this is a really great blend. And addition to those, um, I mean, of course, there's a, there's a ton, right? There's a ton of different things in this vitamin. But there's also something called the cognitive blend. So it's helping their brain development, right? And also um, the cellular vitality blend. So if you take the lifelong vitality pack vitamins, like, like we do, like for adults, that has the alpha CRS um, cellular vitality complex. Well, that same pill, has 
is in here. It's part of the blend for the HZ chewables. So the kids are getting that cellular, that cellular support, brain support, and then all the vitamins and minerals that they also need for healthy growth. So HZ chewables are awesome. And then also the IQ Mega. So Omegas, this is all your Omega-3 complex. This is a wild orange flavored syrup. Now, it's not sweetened at all. So it doesn't, it's not a sweet orange. It just has some wild orange essential oil in it. So it's also going to boost your immune system. What I do with this, I have to be honest, my son doesn't like to take it by the spoonful. So what I do is I put it on his sandwiches. So he has peanut butter and IQ mega sandwiches. It's so yummy. It just adds a little bit of orange flavor to the peanut butter. And it's really, really good. Or I'll put this in his smoothie also. So this is very easy to incorporate in different ways for their omega support, which is great for their brain development. Great for their skin. Again, if you're in New Mexico, that dry skin, take more omegas. That's going to help. And then the other thing that my son loves that all the kids love is PB Assist Junior. PB Assist Junior is the probiotics for kids, but they come in these really cool little sachets. Um, I'm not going to open one because I don't want to waste one, one of my sons, but it's, it's kind of like a pixie stick. So this is all individually encapsulated. I'm just shaking it so you can hear it. Individually encapsulated prebiotics and probiotics. So they're getting that prebiotic, which is the food that the probiotics need to, to survive and to thrive, right? So the probiotics are so important for their gut health. Our gut and our children's gut, gut sounds funny, um, it, it controls 70% of our immune system. So if your child is having a lot of digestive issues, I bet you they're going to get sick easier um, and they're going to be uncomfortable for sure. So PB Assist gives them all of the good gut flora that they need to stay healthy. It's going to boost their immune system. It also boosts serotonin. So they're going to be in a better mood and they're going to be able to absorb their nutrients better. If your child does have any kind of, um, uh, we'll skip that. We'll skip that. So that's nutrition with um, the HZ chewables, the IQ Mega, Omega Complex, and PB Assist Junior. So these are all the kids supplements. Um, if you're look, when you're looking at kits, that's the best way to start. These all come in the family wellness kit. So I definitely recommend that. And if you're already a doTERRA member, you can add these two onto your lifelong vitality pack for $20. So you get a big discount. These combine, um, as one and they're only $20 for this. So throw that onto your monthly order for your children each month. Um, okay. So we're just talking about the gut and all their nutrition. Where are we at? Oh yeah, the, the, they're so delicious. The PB Assist Juniors are really, really good. They're watermelon, they're watermelon, right? Or strawberry, they're strawberry melon flavored. They're really good. Um, love that. So now we're gonna talk about digestive health, right? We talked about giving them all that, those great probiotics for their gut, but their, their digestive health, sometimes they might need a little bit more support, or there might be just an acute issue that's happening for a short amount of time that you need to address. So number one would be Digestin. So Digestin, where's my little roller? Here it is. I'm not watching myself anymore. I switched to the other screen. Let's see. Okay. So Digestin has the digestive blend from doTERRA. This is the essential oil. This is the Digestin touch roller. Either one is great. If you get this one, you can um, you can just make your own roller or you can keep it at home for the rest of the family like we do and just put a drop under your tongue. So if someone's having any kind of digestive issues, adult-wise, just put a drop right under the tongue. It does taste kind of like black licorice. Not my favorite flavor, but it's amazing when I'm not feeling well in my stomach, I, can, I don't mind the flavor at all. Right now it's a little, my, my stomach feels fine. But for kids, for my kids, I just rub on the digestion roller. So this, I'm really just putting circles onto their stomach and rubbing that on. And my son has known, he just turned three, but when he was two, he still was asking for this. When his tummy hurts, he said, give me the oils, right? He knows that digestion helps him so much. So we just rub that right on there, onto the stomach or onto the bottoms of the feet. 
Um, and if you can get into the, into the navel, into the belly button, that's even better. So digest then in the roller or, or the regular ball, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't really need to digest, um, or diffuse this. If they're super nauseous, say they have a stomach flu, or I don't know if they're super nauseous, you could diffuse this into the air, but primarily you're going to be using digest then topically on the stomach, um, and internally for the kids, just use the roller. Another great tool for digestive, if they are having just their stomach's not feeling great, keep these in your purse all the time. Peppermint beadlets should just go everywhere with you. Peppermint beadlets, again, we talked about the on guard beadlets, but this peppermint beadlet, there you go, it's a teeny tiny little ball. Again, it's a quarter of a drop of peppermint essential oil. And that, again, you can pop it in your mouth. Very minty, very minty, not sweetened at all. It's just the essential oil. But your kids can also, if they don't like that intense mint, just tell them to swallow it, right? They can just swallow it and that peppermint, it'll open right up in their stomach and that's going to give them a lot of relief, um, a lot of relief. They'll be totally fine very quickly. So I check here. Ooh, Shelly, yeah, for heartburn, right? Digestin is really, really good for heartburn too. Um, yeah, eternity. I'm not a big fan of the smell and the taste of digestin, but it works, man. And some, you know, digestin smells better than diarrhea and it tastes better than vomit. So you choose what you want to use. Um, but this definitely will stop those things from happening. And digestin, I like to see nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. It'll handle all of them. All right. Um, I just sent peppermint beadlets. Oh, and I, I do want to talk about this. Terrazyme. So terrazyme, this is not a kid's um, formula, but terrazyme is these little capsules. It's an herbal-based complex of digestive enzymes. It has 10 different digestive enzymes that are so good, and it also has lactase in it. So if your child um, has issues with dairy, which 75% of Americans have issues with dairy. 75% of Americans are lactose intolerant. We just choose to eat it anyway. So Terrazyme helps your stomach feel so much better. So adults can be taking one to three of these capsules every day with meals. For kids, I don't use Terrazyme every day with my kids. You certainly, certainly could. I use it more if I'm seeing that my son has a, a tummy issue or if he's constipated, I will just break one of these open and put it into his applesauce. Um, cause you can just break that capsule open easily, shake out the powder into his applesauce or into a smoothie and you're good to go. So Terrazyme is definitely one to have on hand as well. Um, as is lemon and wild orange. So wild orange and lemon can also help soothe the stomach and they're really delicious in your water. So again, just put it in your kid's stainless steel water bottle and they're going to be detoxing and getting that immune support and keeping their digestion smooth all day. Okay, next section that I wanna talk about is mood and focus. So um, kids' feelings are very, very real. I think that everyone watching this knows that, but our kids' feelings are very real to them. Even if it seems small and insignificant, and I mean, I have a three-year-old who can be dramatic, so I'm guilty of this too. If it seems small and in insignificant, sometimes we're like, oh, just get over it, move on, or like, let's just go, right? But for them, it's really significant. And so starting a new school year brings opportunities for all kinds of different drama, right? Friends can change. Their desk can change. They might have trouble with their work, um, playground issues. Oh, my goodness. Now, I suggest when you have your child with you, if they're having some kind of emotional issue, I would suggest, where's my chair? I would suggest giving them something to try. Sorry, I'm looking for, I had this all, okay. So when I was, um, when I was teaching and kids would come up because I'm the teacher, right? I'm, I'm the one who's supposed to make it better. Someone took a ball or someone pushed someone in the hallway. I need to make it better. So I would ask them, what do you need? So I'd hold them usually two options. So like, this is a good example. Wild orange might be in one hand and balance might be in another. 
and I just open it up for them. And then smell, sweetie, what do you need right now? And they'll know, they'll smell balance um, or they'll smell wild orange. So maybe they're just feeling sad and need wild orange to help them feel happy again, right? Maybe they're overstimulated. Maybe that's what's really going on. They just, there's too much going on. They're feeling overstimulated. They're not feeling safe. They're feeling frazzled. Balance might be what they need. So you can make them different rollers. Again, to just put that little roller pack in their backpack and they have something that they can use. I have not heard or seen a teacher have any issues with these. Um, of my teacher friends everywhere. I've never heard someone have an issue with it. If kids are able to, you know, use a little balance roller and get it together, wow, like that's a really strong kid. So balance is the grounding blend. This is the first one I want to talk about for mood and health or mood and focus because balance is grounding. This is a great thing to put on your kids right at the beginning of the day, bottoms of the feet, back of the neck. Um, this is going to help them feel grounded, centered, safe, secure. Um, if you're into chakras, all the, all the affirmations that go with the root chakras, balance is, balance is going to help that. That is the base of everything. Your child has to feel safe before anything else. So balance does that for them. It helps them strengthen those feelings. And you can use this for them whenever. Again, there's no, there's no overdosing or anything like that. And this has a little bit of fractionated coconut oil in it. So this can actually go straight into a roller and you don't need to dilute it as much. So balance is the grounding blend. Serenity is also really helpful. So if you have a child who's really str struggling with anxious feelings um, or with focus, maybe, maybe they're really, really hyperactive and they need to chill out a little bit. Balance and serenity, that is liquid calm. That in a roll, the combination, equal parts of those um, will help them calm down so much. And again, I recommend behind the back of the ears, anytime that you're trying to get someone to calm down. So balance and serenity are great for mood and cheer also. So maybe they need, it's just a little cheer. Sometimes those kids, they just get in a little funk. They just get a little grumpy, right? A lot of times they're tired or hungry, but cheer can also help them to just cheer up. So put this on their heart. Um, they can put it on their wrists. Cheer. I love the rollers. Again, I love the rollers for the emotions blend. Um, but cheer is also really good. And it smells, smells like a nutmeg and cardamom, just a yummy spice cookie. Has a little bit of vanilla. So it's really, really yummy. And your kids can use that for their mood as well. For focus, um, Peace is very good for focus. So this can go right behind the ears to help them calm down and pay attention, which is very hard for them to do. Um, in tune, this is my old bottle. I'm missing my other one. But in tune is the focus blend. So um, we have we have one person who she is so awesome with her son and she is really great at letting him choose what he needs. And there was a time when he was in between medications, in between his prescriptions, um, and she had Intune. And so she did a little experiment to see how it would help him. And she just carries this. This is right before he gets dropped off for school. This is going on his, on his neck and behind his ears. And she asked him after a few days, she said, how do you feel? Is it, is it working as well as your medication? Um, is it not working? What do you think? And he said, it is almost as good. And to me, that is, that is blazing success, right? If, and he's young. I think he's seven or eight years old. Um, I think he's eight, but that is huge for him to say. It's almost as good as my medication because that is, a, that's giving him the ability to see the difference and the ability to work on managing himself a little bit more too. So this Intune is a great tool for anyone who has issues with focus. Vetiver is another really great blend uh, or oil. Vetiver is in peace and it's in serenity. So I would recommend getting either peace or serenity blends um, first, and then you can always add vetiver to your collection later. But vetiver is very thick, very, very earthy smelling, and you can also put that directly behind the ears. Um, I think that's what I wanted to cover for. Yeah. On the feet is an awesome place. 
as a okay. Um, Shelly says these are not pharmaceutical, so they can carry them in their backpacks as opposed to other options that have to be kept in the nurse's office. Exactly. I love this. The kids, they need to have those options. Like think of the self-control it would take a child who's having a hard time to go and get something from the nurse's office. Um, and it, what a disruption that is to their day to have to do that. So definitely keeping them in their backpack is huge. Shelly also says, um, helping with stuffiness over the bridge of the nose. Yeah, digestin. Surprisingly, even though it's a digestive blend, you can use digestin right here if they're feeling really stuffy and it's going to help open them up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Shelly. And thank you for eternity. These are great comments. Um, love the PBSS Junior for sure. Yes. Okay. So the next, the next area that I want to talk about is boo-boos, right? Kids get hurt. They get bumped. They get cut. They get scrapes. All that stuff happens on a daily basis. Kids play hard. Um, you do their laundry, right? The, the kids play hard. Those clothes come home dirty. Those shoes are worn out. So they get hurt. So this is what you can do. I recommend making a roller. Um, I'm going to just hold up Mel Luca, for example. I recommend making a bruise roller. This is Mel Luca. So I don't have the best quality camera. I'm hoping you can see this. Um, this is Mel Luca and it's tea tree oil. And it is antibacterial, antimicrobial. It's really healing, right? It's going to get rid of all of the germs that are there. Make a bruise roller that has lavender and melaleuca and frankincense. That is my recommendation for bruises, for cuts, for scrapes, for bumps, everything. Lavender, melaleuca, and frankincense is the blend that you want to have for your kids. Put it into a roller so it's easy to use and they can keep it in their backpack too. You can also keep one with you, but this is so great for, um, if they get a scrape, just put it on there. It's going to be clean. The lavender and the frankincense are going to really soothe it. So it doesn't hurt as much. Um, and it's going to heal very quickly. So you're not going to see, um, you're not going to see, you know, scabs lasting for a really long amount of time. Just keep putting it on there and it will keep it clean and it will help it heal so much faster. You know, like Neosporin actually increases scars. Um, you'll get more scarring if you use Neosporin. You can kill germs and increase healing faster with essential oils and frankincense is going to prevent any scars. So we want to prevent scars because those kids are so little, right? They have a whole lifetime that that skin has to last them. So let's prevent the scars as much as possible. Frankincense Frankincense is great for any kind of skin irrita irritation that the kids are having. Um, lavender is as well, but frankincense also, I just put a drop right here at the beginning of every day. And I think that this is a great thing to do for kids too. The third eye chakra um, with frankincense it helps them have focus, helps them have confidence uh, right here on the sternum, the solar plexus, which is right where the rib cage meets. Um, it's going to help them have focus and confidence and just forward direction. That frankincense is so soothing. So oh, frankincense is amazing. So yeah, put that in your kid's bruise blend. Um, if they have any bug bites, bee stings, um, ant bites, anything like that, lavender to the rescue. Lavender is going to soothe that. It's going to stop the itching. It's going to, um, take away the redness. It's going to fight any infection. The lavender roller is a great option. Um, for the kids, I think rollers are really the way to go just convenience wise. Um, and then being able to do it themselves, which is kind of the point too, so that the kids are able to easily put this on my two-year-old now three-year-old. He can, he can put this on all the time. I don't care. He can put lavender on the baby. He can put it on himself. He can put it on me. He's not hurting anything. He's just helping. So lavender is for bug bites, bee stings. Um, if a child has a splinter, I got to see this in action a lot. At the school I worked at, we were building things. We built the garden. We built a chicken coop. We were building things like that with the kids. So splinters happened a lot because we were using a lot of scrap wood. So if a child gets a splinter, um, as soon as it happens, put a drop of lavender right onto that splinter and you will, and just wait, just wait a second. You will literally be able to watch that splinter push out of the skin and you'll just be able to grab it easily with your fingernails. So don't wait a long time. Don't wait until that splinter is set. Do it right away. And it is just amazing. I 
I did it several times with the kids. They'd bring me their finger and just, it would just come right out. So cool. That's definitely something that you want to have um, in your arsenal. If someone is, um, oh, we'll go back to boo boo. Sorry. Correct X. Uh oh. I left it in my bag. Ooh, correct X. Just know that you need it. It's like, doTERRA's neosporin it has melaleuca lavender frankincense it also has cedar wood in it and helichrysum and helichrysum is nicknamed liquid stitches so i actually just cut cut the jesus out of my hand yesterday um on my thumb cut like a quarter inch deep just all the way through the meat of my thumb um i've been putting correct sex and helichrysum on it the helichrysum stopped the bleeding right away so Keep cut correct X around too, and it's going to stop bleeding and fight the infection, any germs, and speed up the healing process. And it's super easy to use ointment. Everyone loves correct X. Love, love, love it. Um, that's for their little boo boos, their cuts and scrapes and things like that. If they have a headache or or any kind of any kind of pain anywhere, peppermint is traditionally the number one recommendation. So this is a great one to have in a roller, just a peppermint roller all ready to go because it is strong. So put that in a roller and they can they can rub it on whatever's hurting. Now, if it's an older child, um, I know I started getting migraines at like age eight and there's a lot of kids who are getting migraines now. Number one, try and increase their magnesium, get them on a good, a good vitamin, get them to eat lots of dark leafy greens or we have the terra greens, lots of magnesium helps. But you can also use past tense. So I wouldn't recommend this for your five-year-old, but for your nine, nine-year-old and up, probably past tense is a great option. And you can also add fraction, the fractionated coconut oil. You can add fractionated coconut oil to this to dilute it a little bit so that it's, it goes farther and it's a little more gentle for them. So past tense, if someone has a headache and this is for you too, because I don't go anywhere without past tense, dot, dot, roll it over my forehead back of the neck and I just rub it in with my wrists. Try and get it right behind the ears too. But that past tense, um, it's actually the tension blend. So it helps break up any tension here and just soothe everything. So, so, so nice. So I recommend having a peppermint roller or your past tense roller um, if your child has, has head pain or any kind of pain on the body, that's gonna help it. Frankincense will also help um, pain anywhere on the body. Another one too, if, you're, if your child is sore, growing pains or fever pains um, or just, or restlessness at night, I recommend Aromatouch. I love Aromatouch, it's actually the massage blend, but it has basil in it, it has marjoram, it has lavender, and those are all really great for calming, calming down. And for my son, I use Aroma Touch on him when he has growing pains. Because I'm sure if you have older kids, they're growing so much. Oh my God, those boys, man, those boys just grow so fast. Um, and there's been nights when he wakes up in the middle of the night just crying and sore. And says, my legs hurt, my legs hurt. We rub some Aroma Touch on him and he goes back to sleep. No problem. That's one of my recommendations for the kids for pain. And then that Mel Luca roller that I've held up several times, so useful. Um, this Mel Luca roller, just put it right behind their ears if they have an earache. Um, that happens a lot, especially now. I did post this for summertime stuff because swimming, a lot of people get ear infections. So put this Mel Luca roller. When we're doing oils around the ears or for the ears, we're not putting them in. Don't ever drop the essential oil into the ear canal. That's not how they're used. Just rub it right here on the front of the ear and right behind. And that's gonna help your kid's earache go, go away so quickly. Again, when you're doing things like this, if your kid really is having a hard time um, and you really think that they have an ear infection, a lot of times if they're just saying the ear hurts, do this right away and you won't get to the ear infection part. But if something, if it has taken a long time, right, if it's ongoing, Continue to use that Mel Luca roller every 20 minutes. Really, as often as you think about it, you can use it. You're not going to go wrong with Mel Luca. I've been using it on my son since he was born. Um, so gentle, very, very safe. Um, okay, all right. And then some bonuses that I want to talk about. 
um, just some extra things to have in your arsenal is oregano. I mentioned it a little bit before, but it's the new school year. Kids always get sick. There's just that bug that goes around, right? And it might not happen in August. It might not happen in September, but usually like October, they start to go down, right? Like some bug comes that just gets everyone. So continue using On Guard every single day. Keep that immune system up. Don't wait to get sick. Don't wait to get sick before you start using your oils. Stay healthy and use that On Guard every single day. But also oregano. So this oregano roller, I really like because it's diluted and it's safe for the kids to use. There's also regular oregano essential oil. It does smell like oregano. It smells just like you know, Italian seasoning. So this you can diffuse into the air. That's going to sanitize the air. It's also going to help kill germs. So this is the big guns. If your kid does come home with something or they've been around another kid who's sick, or you start hearing rumors that, oh, there's something going around. Instead of just crossing your fingers and hoping that it doesn't come to your house, start using oregano right away. So start using the on guard, start using the oregano, taking the vitamins, the probiotics, bump up that immune system and do everything that you can to, to not let that sickness come to your house. So oregano is really great on the bottoms of the feet. Just use the roller and put it on the bottoms of the feet and put those socks on before bedtime. You can also put this on the spine and over the stomach. So this is great for a day for like a monthly cleanse too. Oregano can really cleanse out the gut. So oregano is your big guns that you're taking out. If someone really is getting sick, if your child has warts, um, you can also use your oregano roller just a little bit every day and put it on that wart and it's going to take it right off. Right. And that was really cool. I had a, this poor little girl that was at my camp last year. The, the kids were making fun of her. She had warts on her hand. So I was able to make a roller for her mom and get that wart off. Um, I think it took like a week, about a week of using it. Maybe it was less. I feel like it was less than that. And that's so great that you can give the kids that kind of relief. Lice, if lice comes to your kid's school, what a joy that is. Um, Melaleuca can get rid of lice, but also we're thinking preventatively, not reactively, not just first aid with our essential oils, but use that Melaleuca in a spray or in their shampoo. It clarifies the scalp. And if they, if there is anything going around, it's going to protect them and they're not going to get that lice. So Melaleuca is great for that. And then bath time. New favorite thing here. This one's brand new. My son just got to use his tonight. Um, this is the Sarandi bath bar. So I recommend this for those nighttime baths for your kids because it's the Sarandi oil in a bar of soap. So really great for the skin because it has that lavender, that chamomile in it. Um, and it's just it's just a great soap for them to use. It's really gentle for their skin. The blend of other you know, real, like regular oils that's in here is so good. There's aloe in here. There's jojoba. Um, there's a little bit of sandalwood, which is so good for the skin. Um, glycerin, cedarwood, love this. So the Serenity Bath Bar is a really great option for their nighttime baths. And um, we've just been putting it in his hair too. And that's, for our son's short hair, that totally works. So if you have girls with long hair, you might want to use the regular conditioner, but this works just great. It's another one to throw in your bag if you have, um, if your kids are playing soccer, baseball, football, all the sports practices are about to happen if they're sore. Deep Blue Rub is an awesome option to have because we have, you know, there's Deep Blue Essential Oil, there's Deep Blue Rollers, um, and I have found that the rub is the most convenient thing to have. Just throw in my purse, it's ready to go because it comes out just like a lotion. So this is really, really helpful. Give your kids a little rub down. You can also put it on them preventatively. So if they're about to start practice and you know that their legs get sore at practice, put that deep blue on there so that they have support during their practice and they're not hurting as much afterwards. Always thinking preventatively, proactive, not reactive, right? And then the last little bonus tip I want to show you guys is the On Guard toothpaste. Um, for my son, it's too spicy. He's three. But I would say that this is a good toothpaste once they're like six, maybe when they're ready to leave the bubble gum flavor pretty much is your, is your, um, your measurement, but the on guard toothpaste has on guard in it. So they're getting that immune support while they're brushing their teeth. 
This is fluoride free because they're probably getting enough fluoride from other places that they don't need it from their toothpaste actually. Um, that's a whole other issue. You can Google fluoride stuff on your own. This does not have fluoride. It's a natural whitening toothpaste and it has on guard in it, which is very good for all of your oral health because it has clove in it and cinnamon and it's really good for you. So that's my last little bonus tip. Let me go over here and see the chat. See what's going on. Oh, Shelly says that the Hope Blend gets rid of her daughter's migraines. Interesting. So what's in the Hope Blend? That one has bergamot, frankincense, um, ylang ylang. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smashed finger, correct, correct exit. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Can't even find it. Love that. Love that. Um, Eternity is asking, is there somewhere on the doTERRA site where you can get a book that names the oils, what they do, and the emotional benefits? So there is this book. Sorry, my computer's on it right now. Let me see. Can you still see me? Let's check. Um, this book right here is The Essential Life. So the third edition just came out earlier this year. Get that. But The Essential Life is a great one because you can look up any ailment here in the, the red section. Look up the ailment. And then it's going to tell you the top five oils. So what did I look up here? Gallbladder. So it's going to tell me the top five oils and how to use them aromatically, internally, or topically. It's going to direct me to a whole body system so I can learn more. I can learn more all about that system, not just the oil, but how that part of the body works and the certain remedies to help it. You can also find the individual oils. So like Roman chamomile is here. It's going to list all the top things that that oil can do all the properties. Um, and then this also has a great section in the back for lots of different recipes for your house. So cleaning recipes, baby recipes, first aid. Um, I love this book. It's very, very user-friendly. Um, it's so user-friendly that I, I buy it by the case for my team. I love this book. And the other one that you're asking about, let's see if I have it within reach here. The other book that I know you're asking about is Emotion. That one is called Emotions and Essential Oils. And that's all it is. Emotions and Essential Oils. I think it's on, I think it's also on the third edition right now. You can find it on Amazon. It's about $14. And that one has a yellow cover. So Emotions and Essential Oils is that book. When you are looking on the doTERRA site, just so you know, everything's going to be super generic. The, the information is going to say things like, I'll just say it. So things like seasonal support rather than allergies. So doTERRA has to be very careful that we're saying things within FDA compliance. These aren't drugs. So we can't make medical claims on what they do. Um, they're all about supporting the system. But it's, it tends to happen that we talk about them in a reactive way because that's our healthcare system. That's how our brains work. That's how all of us have been trained uh, to, all of us in the United States for sure, have been trained to think about health is just reacting to things as they come. So that tends to be more common. But the books that I use um, are not published by doTERRA because I need that specific information when I'm helping people with different health ailments. Um, Cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool. So um, if you have any questions or anything like that, if you're ready to get started, please call me. I will totally help you with getting your kids everything that they need for back to school, getting you all set up, figuring out how to make this work with your budget and get the best variety for your family's needs right now. So send me a message um, and I am doing a special, I don't have it ready. I'm gonna make a cute graphic. So stay tuned to my Live Well, Live Free page and you will see um, a really cute special I have just for my new people who are joining my team for back to school. Um, you're going to love it. So have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching. And give your kids a squeeze for me. Have a great school year. I hope no one gets sick. I hope everyone gets good grades and all the goals for their year get accomplished. Um, so I hope you all have a great night. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. And thank you for your comments. That was really awesome to hear your usage tips also. And I will see you next time.